I went ahead and drew some more interesting geometry and we're going to talk about converting entities. See, the geometry that you have can be used to further perpetuate more geometry. So in this, um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and hide the extrusion and talk about what I have brought into um, okay so over here we've got geometry that is on this particular sketch plane we have some that's on the front and some that's on the top okay so I just want to show you that and so now boy I brought this I brought this pattern in from a different sketch in a different product and I want to reuse this button lineup for yet another product so how do I do that well it's called convert entities so I can float through each one of these sketches till I find the one I want okay let's first um, let's create a sketch plane so single left click on the top surface here create your sketch and let's go normal too. All right, so that's our goal. Our goal is to create that whole pattern on the top of this guy. And let's find out where they are. All right, so here they are. Because they've turned orange, we know that that's, that's them. So left click on those, come on up here and say convert entities. Now what that's going to do is it projected these onto your new sketch plane okay so and it also added a relationship so if we single select over here it says on edge so in in the event that this sketch is deleted changed or modified these will go with it so if I need to come back and say up oh, my customer didn't like these holes they are too close together or they need to be spread out a little bit more I can go back into this guy. Well, let's go ahead and do it. All right. So we have uh, projected or converted our entities onto this guy. So that is as good as um, as good as drawing them. Okay. But I didn't have to go through the same process of recreating a whole pattern. Same as here. We're gonna left click on this surface, and I'm going to create a sketch plane. Let's uh, let's find this sketch, and it's here. You can actually just select some geometry, hit convert entity, select this geometry, hit convert entity again. Let's click OK, and let's give that an extruded cut, and let's go all the way through it because we want buttons on both sides and there you have it Whoa! wow what did we do there we'll have to take a look at that oh okay because this surface has a bit of a draft to it it takes this and it follows perpendicular through that so that's why you would see um, these crazy these crazy holes at that low level so we can't use the feature like that so let's edit let's edit it not to go through the entire thing but in fact call it a blind hole and the thickness of this material is a hundred thousandths so let's pick a hundred thousandths to go through that material and voila we have those holes okay so we can go on this side say create a sketch okay let's go normal to and let's see where it converts that hole to. Yeah, see that's no good. So let's um, let's go to this surface and left click on the surface, create a sketch plane, find the geometry that we want to use. It's that. Say convert entity. Go to feature left kick extrude extruded cut we know the material thickness is a hundred thousandths click OK 
and we're going to go to file hide everything and there you go you've got the makings of your first consumer product so convert entities you're going to use this geometry over and over again so if you start seeing patterns or you use a particular diameter you're going to want to hang on to those because you can drag them in from other places we'll show you that down the road but convert entities learn it live it and love it hope you enjoyed we'll see you on the next one